Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for Apple. The report was first published on our website Tuesday, May 3, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question, should I buy or sell Apple? In this video you will get insight in both the technical and the fundamental situation in addition to future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Our systems currently rank the Apple stock with a minus 1.884 score, and our system has ranked Apple cell candidates since May 3, 2022. Over the next few days we will see how this evaluation performs. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Apple stock downgraded to sell candidate. The Apple stock price gained 0.96% on the last trading day, Tuesday, May 3, 2022, rising from $157.96 to $159.48, and has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the day the stock fluctuated 2.81% from a day low at $156.32 to a day high of $160.71. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 4.73% for this period. Volume fell on the last day by minus 35 million shares and in total, 90 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $14.32 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $182.94, and the lowest price was $122.25. Right now the price is 12.82%, or $23.46, below 52-week high and 75.51%, or $491.78, below all-time high June 6, 2014 where the price hit $651.26. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 2.14% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 8.34% and 9.49%. The 12-month trend it indicates a 30.47% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between 29.09% and 61.94%. This equals a price between $205.86 and $258.27 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Apple stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for Apple. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. There are mixed signals in the stock today. The Apple stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, the long-term average holds a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average there is a general sell signal in the stock giving a more negative forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the long-term moving average at $167.24. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the short-term average at $159.28. A breakup through the long-term average will give another buy signal, while a fall below the short-term average will add another sell signal and strengthen the general signal. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence (MACD). A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, April 27, 2022, and so far it has risen 1.86%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The stock should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a sell signal. Pivots gave a buy signal 5 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 5 days ago. The short-term moving average for the 3-month chart gave a buy signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal 10 days ago. 
the relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three month chart. Gave a buy signal 11 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average gave a sell signal 20 days ago. The long term moving average gave a buy signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 10 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $157.96 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $4.39 between high and low, or 2.81%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 3.62%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 28.43. This is a relatively normal price-to-earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $162.74. If you do not hold Apple shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Apple finds first level of support at $157.96 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On April 18, 2022 O'Brien Dardiari made an inside sell of 16,612 of restricted stock unit. On April 18, 2022 O'Brien Dardiari made an inside sell of 3,431 of common stock. On April 18, 2022 O'Brien Dardiari made an inside sell of 4,569 of common stock. On April 15, 2022 Condo Chris made an inside sell of 1,915 of restricted stock unit. On April 15, 2022 Condo Chris made an inside sell of 2,227 of restricted stock unit. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 18.687. In total, the insiders bought 2,502,775 and sold 3,605,242 shares in the last 100 trades. We hold a negative evaluation for this stock, no stop loss set. Is Apple stock a buy? Apple holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Wednesday 4th we expect Apple to open down negative 64 cents and start trading at $158.84. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. Remember that anyone leaving a company stand the chance of winning a lifetime subscription worth $495 to our services. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.